Windows Vista was released on November 30th, 2006 and ended support on April 11th, 2017. Windows Vista still makes up 0.11% of the operating system market share. So that begs the question, can you still use a 14 year old operating system in 2020? Let's start off by taking a look at the setup. It starts off by asking you for a username and profile picture, notice no Microsoft account there, then it goes on to ask you for a computer name and you get to choose your wallpaper. Once you do that, you choose your update settings, your time zone, your Wi-Fi network preferences, and then you're done. You get a nice slideshow about Windows Vista. The first thing you'll notice is the redesigned desktop from Windows XP. You have the new start menu and the gadgets bar on the side. A problem you'll notice immediately when you try to use Windows Vista in 2020 is the lack of compatibility for new programs. Most new programs and web browsers require Windows 7 or higher and that will soon change to Windows 8.1 or higher. So for the web browser, I chose an older version of Google Chrome, which using Windows Vista and an old version of Google Chrome is very unsecure. I tried to run an HTML5 test on this version of Google Chrome, which by the way if you're wondering is Google Chrome version 26. The HTML test hung here. I got nowhere. I stared at this spinning wheel for minutes. Most of what we do on computers today is go on the internet and use web apps, so I tried to sign into Google Docs, I entered an email, and then clicked next. However, next didn't do anything. It never brought me to enter my password. So you can't sign into Google, which means the G Suite is off limits. So I went to Microsoft's website, and all the images are missing. This isn't Windows Vista's fault, this is the internet browser's fault. However, Windows Vista cannot support any new modern browsers. So, it kind of is Windows Vista's fault. Now that we've established that you cannot use Windows Vista as your main operating system in 2020, what is it good for? You can't play modern games on it, as they usually require Windows 7 or higher, so you can play the included bundled games one of which is Inkball, which I used to play all the time on my Vista machine. If you had an old computer laying around that y it can run Windows Vista, you could use it as a remote desktop connection machine as you can connect to other modern machines with Windows Vista's remote desktop connection. The Windows sidebar and gadgets were a new thing in Windows Vista, and they got killed off in Windows 8. I believe these would fit in well with Windows 10's new modern UI. Apart from the built-in gadgets, you could also go online to get new gadgets, however, that website has been since taken down. This release of Windows really set groundwork for new versions of Windows, as we had the Aero UI, the redesigned Windows Explorer, and so much more that Windows 10 still uses today. One thing I also rediscovered is there is no Aero Snap. You have to use the Maximize button. You cannot snap Windows to either side. My version of Windows Vista came with Windows Mail, which is something a lot of versions of Windows Vista came with. However, in 2020, this does not meet security standards, or, quite frankly, you can't get it to work easily. You have to have POP and IMAP servers, which you can easily get, but in 2020, an ideal world is to simply just go enter your username and password, and there's your email right there. Another cool thing in Windows Vista that you killed off in Windows 7 is this switching system. You could easily flip through Windows for hours and not have any concerns. Alt-Tab had also been redesigned. The obvious new thing in Windows Vista was Aero. Hardware had to be updated, drivers had to be updated to get this to work on older XP machines, and this slowed down the system greatly. However, it set groundwork for Windows 7 and newer versions of Windows with their transparency features. You could also change the start menu to a legacy Windows 98, 95, 2000 start menu which in my opinion is pretty cool as seeing Windows Vista with the Aero theme and a 98 theme start menu is pretty cool. Another thing you can do in Windows Vista is edit movies in Windows Movie Maker. This is not a new thing to Windows Vista, but it's pretty cool if you're bored because you can't use any web apps on this operating system. You had the quick tray down in the bottom which eventually turned into the one icon taskbar that is still being used in Windows 10 today. In my opinion, I don't think Windows Vista deserved all the hate that it got. I really like the user interface of Windows Vista for some reason. Windows Vista got hate mostly because of its compatibility. It needed more system resources than XP and drivers needed to be signed and that broke a ton of hardware. One last thing about Windows Vista. You would think that this button turns off Windows Vista, but no. You go over to the arrow and then click shut down. I believe you can change this somewhere in control panel, but it would be nice to have it there automatically. Anyway, I hope you learned something today and Windows Vista cannot be used in 2020 for web apps. 
Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here. I do general tech videos and device restorations. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.